So you want to delete all sheets and all views. Or you want to delete all the views that are not on sheets. Now you would want to do them in precisely that order. You want to delete the sheets first and then the views if you want to delete everything. The reason for that is, is when you delete the sheets, the views come off the sheets and into the project browser for views not on sheets. So keeping that in mind. Now you may be asking why would I want to delete all the views and all of the sheets? Well if I'm going to share a file with a consultant I would want to reduce the file size and also not give away all the sheets that we have and all of them the mess that we have in our views not on sheets. So in order to do that how we can help facilitate that is, is you don't need to add on, you don't need to write a macro, you don't need Dynamo, although you can do all of those things and they work fine. There's a very simple methodology for this. And remember, keeping in mind, you want to do sheets first, views second. But let's go with the idea that we want to just for a milestone purpose of a cleaning up of the file, we want to remove all the views that are not on sheets. So this will be a multi-stage process. So first we're going to go to view list, create one of those. We're going to go to sheet name. We're going to add. And we're going to hit OK. And then this is going to give us a list of all of the views in the project. The ones with content here, names, those have sheet names. Therefore, they're on a sheet. If they do not, they're blank, they're not on a sheet. So now what we need to do is apply a filter so that we can delete all the ones that are not on sheets quickly. How do we do that? Go back to properties. We're going to go over here to filter. And we're going to say filter sheet name that does not contain this. very quickly. We now have a list of all the views that are not on sheets. We will go through, select these. Real quick if I can, let's go over to the browser. You can see that it's chock full of stuff of views that aren't on sheets. So let's go back up here, click on the first cell, scroll to the bottom, hold shift, select the bottom, scroll to the top. Yep, got them all. Confirm. Right up here on the top of the bar, you'll see it says delete. And confirm. 123 views are gone. You can watch your browser over here. And it should clean itself right up. That's quite a bit of views. And you can see, no more views. Now, theoretically, you would only do that if you're doing a milestone and you want to clean up those views. But if you want to wipe out everything, you would start with sheets first and then views. So let's go down this road. So you can see that we have the uh, all this other stuff. Now, one of the things that you would have to do manually is before you'd have to come in here, select each group, hit delete, and then it'd be gone, right? Well, what we want to do, just like we did with views, is we want to come up here to schedules, and we want to create a sheet list this time, not a view list. And we're going to go to sheet name, hit OK. And there we go. We have a list of all of the sheets. Now, in order to delete all these, it's pretty simple. Select the first one, hold shift, select the last one, and again, you hit delete. And the reason we want to do this first again is it's going to send all of the views up into the project browser under un, uh, sheets or views not on sheets. Boom. They're all gone. Oops, I missed the cover. I don't know what I did there to miss that, but theoretically that should go too. We're going to go up here to views, and then you'll see that there's a whole bunch of them. We will go back to our schedules, and we'll have our view list that we already created. There it is. We'll come up here and again this time what we'll do is we'll go back to properties and we will take the filter and remove it because we just want to delete everything. So no filter. Therefore we grab this one and none of them are on the sheets now so that's why they're all blank. And again scroll to the top making sure you have everything selected. Hit delete. Hit OK. Give it a moment. 233, that's a lot. Depending on the number of views you have. There you go. And now let's go back to our project browser. And you can see no views on, on sheets, no sheets. Voila.